Hi friends, it's Dana here. Um, yesterday I had the chance to go to my local library and just kind of browse around and I was in the new book section and I found this adorable book called New and Shrew. It is about two friends who have dreams and one of them starts working on how to really achieve those dreams. And I thought this book really highlighted creativity and stick to and really just the power of dreams. So I hope you enjoy. It's called New and Shrew. It's written by Danny Schnitzlein and illustrated by Anka Sandu. New and Shrew met at the riverbank at dawn. The two friends took turns drinking and watching for crocodiles. New whispered, this river is deeper than deep and wider than wide. The current is fierce and it's filled with hungry crocodiles. Shrew nodded politely. New said, too bad this river's so dangerous. I hear there's a cave on the other side filled with diamonds. Is that so? said Shrew in his tiny shrew voice. New and Shrew gazed across the river, both dreaming of diamonds. One day I'll cross this river and dig up those diamonds, New said. Then we'll be rich. We could work together, Shrew said, and share the treasure. New laughed so hard his tail nearly fell off. This job is much too dangerous for a tiny shrew, he said. But when I get those diamonds, I'll buy us a boat and we can sail around the world. Hmm, thought Shrew. That gives me an idea. New went home and dreamed of diamonds. While Shrew worked on a plan to cross the river. The next morning, New said, I'm going to dig a tunnel to those diamonds. I could help you, Shrew said. A shrew is too small to dig a tunnel, New said. But when I get those diamonds, I'll buy us a golden Ferris wheel, taller than the clouds, and we can take a ride. Hmm, thought Shrew. That gives me an idea. That night, New dreamed of his golden Ferris wheel. While Shrew started building a boat with a paddle wheel. The next morning, New started his tunnel. He dug until he thought his hooves would fall off, which wasn't very long. When Shrew arrived, New lay on the riverbank out of breath. I'll have to find another way. Digging is too much work. I have a plan, Shrew said. That's nice, New panted. But when I get those diamonds, I'll buy us a golden bicycle and we can pedal around the world. Hmm, thought Shrew. That gives me an idea. That night, New dreamed of a golden bicycle. While Shrew attached a chain and pedals to his wheel paddle, the next morning, New wasn't at the river and his tunnel wasn't any deeper. Shrew thought the crocodiles looked a little fatter. Rain started to pour. New Shrew sprinted to New's leaky hut and found him playing cards. Thank goodness, Shrew said. I thought the crocodiles gobbled you up. Not me, New laughed. I'm still alive. I have a plan, Shrew said. I built a boat. That'll never work, New said. The crocodiles will bite your tiny boat and you'll drown. One day I'll finish my tunnel. Then I'll buy us a ten-story hut with a tar roof to keep the rain out. Hmm, thought Shrew. That gives me an idea. New shuffled the cards for another round. While Shrew hurried home and painted the hull of his boat with two coats of tar to make sure it wouldn't leak. <laughs> the next morning, Shrew said, I'm go leaving to go get some diamonds. You want to come? No, said New. I have important things to do today. I could really use your help, Shrew said. 
but have it your way. That day, New took a long nap. While Shrew set off in his boat. Many weeks later, New and Shrew met at the riverbank. I'm going on a journey to see the world, Shrew said. Would you like to join me? I'd really like your company. I've got some projects I need to finish, New said. Send me a postcard. Shrew traveled the world, sending postcards to New. He built a home across the sea and started a boat building business and a family. The years passed by, but Shrew forgot, never forgot about his old friend. One day, he returned to his hometown. He found New frowning at the river. I fear you found those diamonds, New said. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Shrew nodded politely. New whispered, I hear the top of Sharktooth Mountain is covered with glittering green emeralds. Is that so? Shrew replied. New said, that mountain is steeper than steep and higher than high. Leopards and lions lurk in the shadows. Maybe we could work together to get those emeralds. Then we could buy a hot air balloon and fly around the world. Hmm, said Shrew. That gives me an idea. The end. I hope you all enjoyed reading New and Shrew with me, and I hope you guys have some adventures and follow your dreams as well. Have a good day. Thanks for reading with me.